What's up, everybody? This is a new series that we're going to be doing. And this is going to be Grease's favorite picks. And I'm not talking about forever, Will. Yeah, so I'm talking this, about right this kind of came out of a conversation I had at a block party where someone asked me, hey, what, you know, what are you drinking right now? And I almost never had the answer ready to go. So why don't we just periodically, let's say quarterly, update what we're actually drinking right now, what we're reaching for on the shelf. Yeah. And so we're going to give five things that are our current picks. Would we describe these as like a daily drinker? Yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. Maybe some are a little bit more elevated. It all depends. Right. What are you drinking right now, Grease? What are the top five things that you're reaching for when you're pouring some whiskey? I am very interested to get to August yeah. when we do this again. Why is that? Because I haven't transitioned to my summer pours yet. Oh. Right. You're still... Uh, late winter, early spring. I'm a little higher proof right now. Right. In the summer, I like to go a little lower proof. All right, Grease. So tell me, what is of these these five? These are your go tos right now. Whoa, what, we have to have five. Yeah, I only have three. Seriously? Yeah. I mean, I could probably. I mean, I could probably free base a couple. Well, that defeats the entire purpose. <laughs> well, it doesn't. All right, let me do it first, <laughs> and you can think of two others. Well, <laughs> no, we could just. Okay, what I meant to say, okay, we took a break. I've got five. Yeah, because that five. was the whole thing. Because you're going to reveal your five, and then we're going to post another video that are my five. So if you're watching Grease's picks, you can also get my picks. And like I said, we're going to update these periodically so that you'll get more information. We'll link back to them, and you can see what we're actually drinking right now. Dude, something fun that I want to do yeah. this next football season okay. is for us to do a, a fantasy football-esque but the positions are high proof. Like they did on flannel panel. Under 50 bucks. Sort of like they did on flannel panel. Yeah, they did that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but that's cool. But we this is it. but no, but this is like a weekly thing. Let's do it. I think we could do a weekly thing. Maybe. All right. So Grease, right now, what's the first whiskey that you're reaching for of this five that you're currently drinking? I'm gonna go these blue note Kentucky distillate five year old single barrel picks. Well, they're freaking great. They're fifty dollars. High proof, 117.5 from them. This was uh, a single barrel selection from our buddy Tarek at Elixir That's Wine right. Experience in Spring Hill, Tennessee. He's an iconic barrel picker. That's a solid reach. I love them. They are, it is Kentucky distillate. I know some of the people had issues when they had a lot of source Tennessee distillate. It's mm -hmm. not that. It's really a solid pickup and the price point you can't beat. So I really like that as, as a good go-to whiskey right now. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. What, yeah, what else nope, you got? Yeah, let's go to number two. Number two, you're going to agree with me so hard. Oh, yeah. <sighs> this is 13th Colony. I love it. Southern Rye Whiskey. Boom, right here. This bottle, uh, number one, I love the shape. It, it's very similar to the birthday bourbons. It fits good in the hand. Yeah. It has, you know, you like you just set it down on the table and it's like, oh, man, what is that? But this brand, now this is 93 proof. No, 95, 95 proof. proof. Yeah. 95 proof. So a little bit lower. So this could be a summer pour if I was if I was to hang on to it. But I don't I've used this that is one. not going to be. This is not going to make it to the summer. I've used that one often when I'm doing like a shrimp boil because it's the 95 proof, but it's a spicy, but it's a sweeter rye too. I've had that a lot of times out on a summer day in a glass while I'm cooking up some shrimp. You've done the shrimp boil like so many times, and you I do it a lot of times every summer. I know, but you've never run it. That's my, my favorite. I have thing. invited you. You have? Yeah. You've been invited to gatherings where it's happened. A shrimp boil? Yes. I don't did know you, you know invite me a to a times. gathering and say there's a shrimp boil happening, or did you just invite me like, hey, man? I don't know if you know this, but you work a lot on Saturdays. That's okay. That's yeah. fair. So um, I love the bottle, but more importantly, I love the whiskey. This 13th colony number one is just go ahead and put them on your map yeah. because they're going to be huge. They're they going to be great. massive. They make their own whiskey. It's in the delicious. next five years. That's also a good gift bottle, too, for someone that hasn't heard of it because it yeah. looks good, but it also it tastes great, and it's not going to break the bank. I think it's like $35. Yeah, and it's it's a tasty rye. Yeah. All right, tasty, what's, tasty, what's tasty, the tasty. third whiskey you're reaching oh, for man. right now, Okay, Grease? so this is not a summer pour. This is a barrel-proof, single-barrel Jack Daniels pick. This specifically is Tell Them I'm Coming, and the barrel-proof is coming with me from Fairview, Fairview Wine and Spirits did a single barrel of this. Don Norman over there has an incredible palate. 
He picks freaking great whiskey, but this is coming in at 132 proof. Yeah, those are always super hot, but I love them if if people are they don't un- taste hot. Though. If people think they don't like Jack Daniels, give them a pour of one of the single barrel barrel proofs, and it'll change their mind. I guarantee it. If they're a whiskey fan, now also not something you want to introduce people to high proof whiskey on because a lot of times they are like over 130 proof, so a lot yeah. of a lot of proof going on, a lot of heat. But it's if you were going to do that, I would go back to the. The blue notes, like 116-ish, 15. All right. So we've gotten three thus far, right? We sure have. Yeah. So what's your fourth oh. go-to whiskey right now for this moment in time? My fourth. So here's, I mean, I, You're still I'm still high, high proof. proofs. Yeah. I'm, I'm hanging on to winter like so hard right now. I'm like, oh, I'm freaking cold. Yeah. You've um, been known to hang on to winter. Some people say that this is, you know, the Stag Junior from whatever. This is benchmark. It's Stag from, Junior from whatever. I have specifically heard that whiskey called that. that I have yeah. too. Everybody's like, oh man, this is budget man's Stag Junior, or whatever. Yeah. Instead of poor man's pappy. Yeah. A much more convoluted way of saying that about Stag Junior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is benchmark foolproof. Um, is this still Kentucky only? They got it in Georgia too. Yeah, it, it, the select market. They are in select markets, but it is not necessarily everywhere. Right, right, right. Yeah. But this whole line we did on the show, very impressed with the whole line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, top floor f- and full proof. Good bang for your buck. Took the two for me, um, and they're very good. Obviously, I mean, this is coming at 125 proof. Probably the barrel entry proof, and then they probably proof it back to the same. Very tasty. I have done this side-by-side with Stag Jr. Let me go ahead and tell you what this is not. Yeah, it's not the same. It is not Stag Jr. You mean Stag? It's just called Stag. Okay. They call it Stag now. Not Stag Jr. Right, right, right. He graduated. Mm -hmm. Just Stag. Mm -hmm. All right, that's four. What are you rounding out the top five whiskeys, your go-to of the moment? Here it is. He's like, mm. no, no, it's another Jack Daniels product. Oh, this, this is a buy all day long. Yeah, buy five of them at a time. Get a case discount. Six, get six of them at a time. Get the case discount. Yeah, this is the triple mash from Jack Daniels. It's a new offering. Seven centiliters, though. Seventy centiliters. <laughs> Seven centiliters. Seventy centiliters. So we're European or America right now. Um, yeah, yeah. And so Hunter proof, really tasty, really unique. It's fabulous. I'm really enjoying that pour. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's less of a, it's like $35 also. It's, it's a, yeah, it's, it's super affordable, not too expensive. It's going to be and they're a, wide released. It's going to be in a lot of markets and a, uh, you're already starting to see them on the shelf. So it, it's not going to be like a limited release that you're not going to be able to find. It's going to be a lot easier to find than a, a Jack Daniels barrel proof, single barrel at this point. So I, I really like that one. It's, they flew off the shelves around here at first. And then now it's like, everybody's kind of like, Oh, okay. This is a bigger release. And we thought, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because typically the Jack Daniels new offerings, it's like you just buy them, right? You grab them. You never know when you're going to have a Coy Hill situation or a, or a limited edition rye. Um, honestly, that rye really just put them on the map. I love that editions. one, the barrel proof rye. Yeah. It's really good. Yep. So anyway, these five pours. Yeah. Let's let's to recap for everyone. You said your top five pours of the moment are Blue Note. Juke Joint Whiskey, that's the uncut single barrel. The 13th Colony Straight Rye. The Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Single Barrel. The Full Proof Benchmark. And the Triple Mash Bonded from Jack Daniels. Mm-hmm. Solid lineup, Grease. Really like it. And I feel uh, pretty good about it. This wouldn't necessarily be my offensive line. Hey, like if well, I was fantasizing it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but this is what you're reaching for. This is what you're you're pouring up on the daily, the daily drinkers, and this is this is a snapshot in your whiskey journey right now. It is a oh, I like that. Yeah. Hey folks, leave in the comments below what are the five pours you're currently enjoying. What are your go-tos? What are you reaching for? And keep it in mind when you know you're hanging out with people and they're like, what's your favorite whiskey? You'd be like, well, here's what I'm drinking right now. And you got five go-tos right there. Go ahead and support the channel at patreon.com slash the podcast. Hit the like button and subscribe. Love that. Yeah. That's free for you to do. Also, check out our barrel program at oakandthieves.com where we pick some killer single barrels and you get access to those. And now we're going to go ahead and record it. We're going to do my top five. So look out for that video as well. <laughs>